my trusty buddy Bart here and he's going to help us finish these workbenches this weekend. If you go back and look at my video of the Send Cut Send unboxing, we had some rectangular square plates in there and those are going to be used to level these benches up. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer and uh, show you what the plan is there. I've done this once before on a series of videos that never saw the light of day, but essentially what we need to do is this is the bottom of our legs right now for these workbenches and we need to be able to add feet that we can level them up on. The concrete's not perfectly flat, so we wanna be able to adjust the whole tabletop up and down. Our leveling feet are actually gonna consist of a hockey puck, a three inch fully threaded five eighths inch bolt, and then a nut. So what we're gonna do is drill a hole in the center of the hockey puck, run this bolt through, run a nut down on it, and then we'll have one more nut here that will allow us to level the tube up and down. This will all make a lot more sense once you see it, um, but it's pretty simple and really cheap. These hockey pucks are cheap and there's no way you're gonna find a better leveling foot than this for the price. There you have it, the cheapest, strongest leveling foot you could possibly make. And it's a hockey puck, so you know it's gonna be good in all sorts of temperatures. They also don't really wanna slide around too much once you get some weight on them. So for the price, it's unbeatable. So we'll have our nut welded on the inside of our plate and that'll weld to the bottom of our tube. And then as we spin this hockey puck, we'll essentially raise and lower our table leg. This nut here is just a jam nut, so once you get it right where you want it, lock it in and it'll be there until you move it. So you can see we've got about an inch and a half of adjustability. If you got longer bolts, you'd obviously have more adjustability, but they cost a little bit more. The one thing you need to remember is you need fully threaded bolts for this. So I'll put a list of everything I used in the video description and uh, you can just order it from there. The other thing is you'll wanna drill your bigger Forstner bit, your bigger countersink hole big enough where you can get a socket on this bottom one. Mine was inch and three eighths for that drill bit size and then I used a half inch Forstner bit all the way in. Other than a little bit of weird smell with the uh, the drilling of the hockey pucks, you know, there's really nothing to it. So go out, order yourself some hockey pucks and make some feet. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so please like and subscribe as they say, and we'll see you on the next one.